Hey guys, it's Tony from Good Japan, Bad Japan. Even though Golden Week was a few months ago, I thought I'd share an interesting day trip my wife and I took to Yuasa, the birthplace of soy sauce. To give you an idea, this is Wakayama Prefecture, and you can see that our destination is south. On average, it's around 40 minutes by local train to get to Yuasa from Wakayama City and a one-way ticket will cost you less than 1,000 yen. Here we are at Yuasa Station, and while there are some cool statues in the area, there's not much else to see other than the soy sauce museums and factories, as well as some temples. Let's get going then. We're headed to this area on the local map, which is a preserved heritage district and has the feel of old Japan. Since we're in the birthplace of soy sauce, let me share some history. Soy sauce was brought over from China in 1254 to Yuasa, and the first known record of its sale was in 1588. Looks like my wife and I are at the Karocho and Shokunin Gura museums now, so please enjoy the walking tour for a bit. Are you having fun yet? If so, please hit that like button. Now on to our next destination, Marushin Honke and Yuasa Soy Sauce Limited. What I love about this place are its unique souvenirs, soy sauce ice cream, that's right, you heard me, soy sauce ice cream, and the free factory walking tour. Let's go! What's really nice is that so much information is readily available in English. The company history on the side of the building is in English, and the tour is mapped out in sections, each with QR codes you can scan for more information. Go ahead, use your QR reader anywhere you feel like, and learn a little more about how soy sauce is made.
I have to say though, the only downside of this tour is that so much is behind glass and the tour is actually over before you know it. But that's no biggie. This tour isn't actually what I came here for. It's the shopping. The gift store here has so many flavors of soy sauce you can buy. Before the pandemic, this whole shelf was littered with plastic spoons and free samples. And while we can't taste test now, I can tell you from experience that this is the good stuff. Other cool oddities from this gift store included this wasabi miso relish and this yuzu miso senbei. And last were these kurumi shoyu manju. Translated, that means walnut soy sauce manju. And holy cow did these exceed expectations. I highly recommend these if you ever come to Yuasa. Now let's finish with a little soft serve soy sauce ice cream. Okay, so no trip to Yuasa would be complete without show you ice cream. So this is soy sauce ice cream. So the ice cream is bad for my cholesterol. The soy sauce is bad for the sodium. Okay. Wow, that's salty. <laughs> you, can, you can taste the sodium. I do have to say, this tasted a lot better than Ferrano's lavender ice cream, which tasted like soap. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you hit that like button and subscribe, and please join us in the next video where we have an authentic Teishoku lunch at a popular Yuasa restaurant. In the meantime, let's finish strong by showing you a random cat we encountered. Come in. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Why are you doing that? You don't want him to come close. Yeah.